Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I am coming back at you with a, another Wargaming in Miniature video. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time. We're going to be talking a matter of scale, right? We're going to be talking about uh, why there are differences, uh, different manufacturer ranges have different scales, uh, sometimes they don't match up properly. And uh, so basically what I'm going to do is, now I'm not going to compare a bunch of manufacturer models on the table. You can do that on your own, uh, or you can watch other videos that I make where I do the comparison. Uh, but in this video, I want to kind of explain what it means when someone says it's a 15 millimeter miniature or what do they mean when they say it's a 172nd scale figure or what does it mean when they say it's 28 millimeters as opposed to 30 millimeters or things like that or even uh, what does it mean to be n scale or uh, ho scale etc Okay, before we get started, I just want to let you know that there is a lot of conflicting information out there. And when you try to piece it all together, you might run into some stumbling blocks or a little bit of confusion. So I'm making this video to help people, to explain to people how scale is measured and uh, why you think that a certain figure is supposed to be the same as another figure when in fact it's not. And this is to help explain how that comes to be. I'm also going to draw some stick figures here just so you can kind of see uh, as, a, as a general reference, right? So a soldier or what, and, and this is where it really becomes, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? This is why you concern yourself with figure scale, right? Uh, okay. All right. So I've got my, I've got my generic human being right here. The understanding across the board and this is just so you know, from the bottom of his foot, okay, to the top of his head is generally understood to be six foot, okay, six foot, not 5'10", not 5'11", not 5'9", not 5'4", as I've seen some people say, it is six foot that's the that's the general gist of the measurement okay all right now i know this doesn't come out exactly but we're gonna it's normally uh assumed that it's 304.8 millimeters per foot but we're just gonna and that comes out to 1828 but what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of round it off a little bit. I know it's not um, exact, but I'm going to say six feet is approximately 1,800 millimeters, okay, uh, or 180 centimeters. Uh what that comes out to is like 5.9 feet, which is, what is that, like 5'11"? Okay, so we're just going to go with 1,800. I mean, I could go with 1,825 to make it a little bit more round, but 1,800 is good. Okay, now understand that we're still measuring from the ground to the top of the figure's head, right? His head. Okay, when you're talking about 
percentage, or not percentages, when you're talking about fractions, like, let's, let's use this as an example, 1 72nd. When you, when you talk about 1 72nd scale models, which is a very popular, like, Arafix scale, or a, uh, you know, you can get Matchbox. I, actually, Matchbox is mostly 176, but we'll go with 172nd. And if a foot is 12 inches, 172 would be one inch on the model or the table or your tank or your building, whatever you're measuring. One inch of real measurement would equate to uh, six feet because 72 inches is six feet. So this model that we're looking at right here, which is six feet, would be one inch tall. Okay, he'd be one inch. Uh, so, so what you're what you're going to see is one seventy second scale models, or one seventy. Let me rephrase that. One seventy second scale figures are one inch tall. That's because of the six foot divided by the seventy two inches equates to one inch. Okay, so so here's where the confusion comes in. When you're getting your army or whatever you're getting and you get a bunch of 172nd scale models, they're all going to be like close to an inch tall. And that measurement is from the bottom of the foot to the top of the head, not the bottom of the like base that the figure is standing on, not from there to the top but from his foot to the top, if that makes sense. Okay, great. So then you, th you say to yourself, okay, if, if my 172nd scale models are one inch tall, then that means I can get 25 millimeter, now we're jumping scale, and the way it's measured, but you're assuming that 25 millimeter models are one inch tall. That is not correct. Even though one inch is approximately 25 millimeters in, in, in measurement, there's a difference in fraction scale and how it's measured, and millimeter figurine scale and how it's measured. It's measured differently. And I'll, and I'll show you uh, how it's measured differently. I know you gotta love my uh, you gotta love my stick figure soldiers, right? Okay. Okay. This also has a base. Okay. But, okay. And you might have like, I don't know, let's say a Shaco, right? Okay. So we got our French soldier here with cross straps, you know, all that good stuff. Okay. So we got our French soldier here. Uh, 28 millimeter miniatures are not measured from the bottom of their foot to the top of their head, which would be right about there. That's not how it's measured. When you jump from, uh, we'll call this a fractional or a what is that? An imperial measurement. When we jump from there to the metric or to the miniature figurine, scale is measured to eye level. So now you're measuring to the eye to the bottom of the foot. So this is not the full height of a model.
Okay, so if I was to buy a 25 millimeter miniature and put it, and, and I'm gonna say that's approximately from top of the head to the eye, uh, you know, you're looking at maybe what, six inches, six inches approximately. So it, there's approximately a six inch difference in height. Okay, so when you, when you put the two models next to each other, remember that this is 25 millimeter to the eyes, right? And 172nd is to the top of the head. You're gonna see your soldiers are gonna be slightly smaller, okay? So your twenty, and then he might have a shago or whatever. So you're gonna see a one seventy second and a twenty five millimeter aren't you aren't close, okay? So don't so. So when you take your one seventy second scale model. Okay, I'm sticking with 172nd just because it's kind of easy math. But when you take your 172nd scale model that you built your army around, right? And you've got this entire army, you know, you're playing Command Decision or you're playing, you know, whatever, uh, uh, what do they call it? Operation World War II or whatever you're playing. Uh, but you want to buy some millimeter models, some metal models, some figurines that, or tanks or vehicles that fit in with your 172nd scale stuff. You have to understand that you're measuring from the bottom of the foot to the eye level. And it's generally understood that that is 20 millimeters, okay? So you lose about six inches here, which is about five millimeters, right, approximately. So, so your 20 millimeter models would have an eye level the same as your 172nd scale models, which have a head height scale. And that's where the disconnect comes from converting your fractionals to your millimeters. Okay, so your next step would be the other direction, right? We're going from head height to eye height, getting yourself a, uh, a millimeter. But what if you've got some millimeter figures and you want to buy some models that are in the fractional, right? So uh, it's good just to reference the company that's selling them and they usually tell you, but if you can't figure it out, okay. So let's talk about the most common larger scale model today. It used to be 25 millimeter, but it has evolved into a 28 millimeter. And I think that comes from scale creep, uh, figure companies, wanting to make their models larger so they can look more impressive or more heroic on the table. So with a 28 millimeter model, if you are measuring, remember, because it's in the millimeter scale, you're measuring to the eyeball. Okay, so uh, uh, in the past, I mean, I read some documents uh, many years ago that said they don't measure to the eye, they measure to the brim of the hat, which is directly above the eye. And then some say they measure to the top of the head. And, and so 
because there's a little bit of discrepancy in your manufacturing, the companies don't even, there, there's not like a universal understanding. Uh, you kind of got to kind of um, experiment and figure it out. But the, but the majority say eyes. Okay, so let's take, let's take a head and a body and some legs and an arm and all that stuff. So let's say it is 28 millimeters from ground to eyes. If my eye height is six inches less than my top of the head, and that's generally the way it is, from ground to eye should not be 72 inches. It should be, like we said, 66 inches. Okay, so what I'm doing now, uh, knowing that my eye level is six inches shorter than 72, it winds up being 66 inches is where my 28 millimeter line would be, right? Okay, now, but because we're converting to fractions, we need to figure out what it would be to the top of the head. So dividing 28 by 66, I get that each inch is 0.42, repeating, millimeters. Okay, great. So now I need to take this. So that's basically 0.42 per inch. So if I was to take this 0.42 and multiply it by the full six foot of the figure, right, times 72 inches, it comes out to 30.5 or millimeters, right? So the model here, full height is 30 millimeters. So what is that in real inches? See, that's... A, so let's take 30 and divide it by 25. 1.2. So the model, the full height of the model would wind up being 1.2 inches. Right? You with me so far on this? I know, I, I know it's a little complicated. 1.2 inches tall equates to a 28 millimeter scale model. Okay. If you were to go on the market and buy 30 millimeter models, thinking that that's what you're getting because of the full height of the miniature, well, you're not because millimeters measures to the eye. So you'd have some giant model. Okay, now because we're still working with a six foot uh, measurement, we're gonna take that 1.2 inch model, right, which is the 30 millimeters, and we're gonna divide that by, or actually we're gonna take a, a 72 and divide it by 1.2, and what you get is 60. So a, a 28 millimeter model to the eyes or 30 millimeters to the head turns out to be a one to 60 scale model. Uh, you, now, as an example, Warlord advertises their 
tanks and things like that as 156, right? They, they advertise it as 156, pretty close to 160. But if I was to take 156 and divide it by that 72 model that we're talking about, let's see what we get. Seventy two divided by fifty six comes to one point two eight equals one fifty six. Okay, one point two eight is a little bit taller, so uh, Warlord one uh, twenty eight millimeter figures might be a little bit taller they might be also it, they might not consider this to be six inches like i am they might consider that to be only four inches and if that's the case then it would be a little bit closer to 128 and 156. all right so i've come across this issue where i would order uh miniatures from one company and order the same scale miniature from another company and they would actually have a different height. I think it, I think it uh, boils down to uh, the either, either the eyes, the brim or the head okay and those different different companies will measure their models based on uh, a different location to measure them and that's usually only in millimeters because when you start talking about fractional measurements uh, like 187 or something you're actually measuring to the top of the head and the bottom of the foot and not the bottom of the foot to the eyes okay so i've got a couple of figures here on the table uh and these were both advertised uh these is from the same company uh this was old glory way back in the day when old glory was uh they sold these packs for a, a game called command decision a and these were advertised as 15 millimeter models uh so now i'm gonna take a ruler and we're gonna measure from the bottom of the foot To the top of the head is 15 millimeters now from the bottom of the foot to the eye level it looks like it's about actually hang on top of the foot looks like it's about 13 millimeters so there's a two millimeter discrepancy. If I was to buy other models that are 15 millimeters, and I'm going to a more modern Napoleonic soldier, uh, because I just bought these recently. That's why I say it's modern. Uh, and this is advertised, same company, Old Glory, these just happen to be from a company called, or, or a, a, a line of miniatures called Command Decision, which uh, I bought these many, many years ago. But this is a new Napoleonic figure, also advertised as 15 millimeters. You can see a major scale difference. In these models right this guy 
the new old glory yeah there is oh i'm off camera there is kind of a a, a big figure difference in height with the, and so and, and those come from the same company old glory old glory but the figure line itself was command decision and i believe i really do believe that the command decision models uh, through reviews and things like that, if I'm using my memory, uh, they said they were 12 millimeters. Well, 12 millimeters to the eyes, but 15 millimeters to the top of the head. Uh, and millimeters are not normally supposed to be measured to the top of the heads. Okay, let's talk about railroad scales just for a minute, because I... Um, railroad scales because I know there's a lot of you out there myself included that will pick up model railroading like bridges and train sets and buildings trees even for our wargaming uh, it's it's a good way to get um, the tabletop covered in good terrain like fencing and stuff like that Okay, so this is just going to be a general rule of thumb, right? Just a general rule. Z scale, it's one of the smallest scales you're going to be able to find. Um, I used to use a lot of Z scale stuff for my 6 millimeter uh, wargaming or 1 to 300 uh, or 1 to 85th. Uh, those guys, six millimeter, I used to use Z. Z is not actually uh, this scale. Z is actually 220. Just so you know. Okay, this pen. Come on, pen. What's going on with you? Okay, 220. So... But it still works. 285th, Z, the buildings might be just a little bit bigger, but it still works. Okay, the next one up is N scale. Uh, and I like to use N scale for my 15 millimeter uh, wargaming. And, but it's not 15 millimeter. Because 15 millimeter, my understanding is 1 100. 1 100, uh, some would say th that uh, 15 that uh, 1 100 is 15 millimeter, but N is in fact 1 160. Okay, with the new Epic Waterloo, they're actually going to be. Uh, thirteen point five millimeters, uh, and I hear that equates to one one forty four. Okay, one to one forty four, which is which is uh, you you can find model kits out there in the in the world, uh, planes, trains, automobiles that are 144 scale. So 144 is going to be basically Warlord's Epic. So if you're able to find something that... Okay, so I plan to use N because that's 166. But they do make something on the opposite side. They call it TT. TT scale is 120, 1 to 120. Uh, that's going to make, they're going to be smaller than 15 millimeter. They'll be, they'll actually be uh, smaller than 13 millimeter because 120, 144. So you're actually, you're, if you want on the small side, your building's on the small side, if you're able to find anything with the TT scale or tabletop, 
uh, if you're able to find tabletop scale 120, uh, my understanding is the UK considers that to be 15 millimeter as well. So that's, uh, so if you've got a mixture, like I'm going to probably have a mixture of 13 millimeter epic with some 15 millimeters thrown in, even though I'm ordering, uh, personally, I'm ordering some small 15s. So they're probably going to be closer to like these 15s, which would be closer to my epic. So if I can find some TT, or actually, I think I'm just going to go with, uh, if I can find some 144 scale stuff, that's probably what I'll go with. Okay, working our way up, uh, another scale is half O, right? You got half of O, and then you actually have O, but half O is not actually half of O, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, half O is one eight seven. Um, double O is 176. So Matchbox or Roku, 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 uh, made a bunch of like, and, and train sets are all in HO, uh, and you can get 176 like Matchbox and, uh, I did a lot of wargaming command decision when I used to do 172nd scale stuff. I even threw in some 172nd scale. Even though 172nd is not really double O or HO. Uh, my HO tanks and stuff all look to be a little bit too small. Uh, the double O and the 172nd, they blended very well. But if you were to put like two half tracks next to each other, you could see one was just a little bit longer than the other. And then I'm going to make a fairly large scale jump to S and then O. S and then O. S is a really good wargaming scale. It's 164. So if you're able to find some S scale trains or tanks or personnel or whatever, they're going to work pretty good with your 28 millimeters because those are 156 or 160, depending on how you measure. So 164 to 156, they'd be basically heroic 28s. Uh... Yeah, these would, 164 would be 28 millimeters if you were to measure at the top of their head, basically. Okay. Uh, I skipped over a scale. It was 18 millimeter, but we're not talking about millimeters. We're talking about railroad scales right now. O is 148 scale. Now, 148, you can find almost every, like, World War II tank, every World War II troop or soldier in 148 there's also a uh, a company out there it's called 148 tactic it actually is a game designed around 148 scale models so that you can, if you get o scale railroading you're going to fit perfectly into 148 scale now 148 scale is pretty close to 38 millimeter if you remember, if you measure to the top of the head, okay, these, these are if you measure to the top of the head, not eye level. Okay, so we're jumping down into this other miniature scale. Uh, I'm going to kind of go backwards on what I was saying earlier. 
There is an 18 millimeter scale and it's very popular. Um, and, and one of the reasons why I think 18 has become very popular is because it's heroic 15s, right? You got your 15 millimeter model and then you got your 20 millimeter model or your 28 millimeter model and 18 kind of bridged that gap. So you've got um, the 15s, which you're looking at right here, are fairly good detail on these guys. But when you go to 18 millimeter, which is three millimeters taller than this, you're starting to get as much, if not, well, you're starting to get as much detail as you'll see on a 28 millimeter model. Uh, now, 18 millimeter in the in the U.S. would be considered one two hundred one to one twenty, I believe, is the correct. It might be one to one hundred actually. Uh, but remember, if you measure to the top of the head, it's one to 100, but if you measure to the eyes, it'd be one to 120. And that's where I think the UK and the US measuring difference comes in. I think one might be measuring to the top of the head and the other is measuring to the eyes. So just be aware of that. Uh, I know there are some manufacturing companies that label their miniatures as 15 slash 18. What they're trying to tell you is that depending on how you measure the model will determine what your uh, scale is. So if you're measuring to the eyes, it's a, it's a 15 millimeter model. But if you're measuring to the top of the head, then it's an 18 millimeter model. Same thing with the 25s and the 28s. So when you look at, when you look at scale, you got to be aware. Uh, well, you don't have to be aware. You just just understand that, and you should check your resources, do your research, try to figure out if they're measuring to the top of the head, are they measuring to the eye? Final final note: eighteen millimeter, or or let's 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 re rephrase that. Millimeter measurements are not. They don't care how tall your guy is. They don't care. Uh, they don't care about what you're measuring. They are measuring from ground of the bottom of the foot to eye level on a six foot man. Okay, so fifteen. 18, 28, it's foot to eye. Okay, but when you're talking about your fractions or even your uh, railroad, they measure from the bottom of the foot to the top of the head. And the top of the head is also on a six foot man and it's a fraction of one inch is my understanding. So like one seventy second would be for every inch that you measure, it equates to 72. Okay, let me let me rephrase that. It doesn't matter about the man. It doesn't matter about the man. What it measure what it matters about is inches or or millimeters or centimeters or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's very it's very um finite. So because like when you measure a tank, okay, if a tank is 15 feet long, right? Okay, tank, in real life, it's 15 feet long. Basically, you would just times that by 72 to get you, to get you um, I'm sorry, by 12. To get you how many inches this tank is in length. 
Okay, so this tank is 180 inches long. And then you just have to take that 180 and divide it by whatever scale you're using. So let's say you're using Warlord scale, which is 156. Let's go ahead and divide the 180 by 56. And it comes out to 3.2 inches. So the model on the table is going to be 3.2 inches long. So it doesn't matter what you're measuring it up against. It's the fractions are, are directly related to the measurement. But when it comes to millimeters, that's not the scale. That's not the case. Uh, well, it could be the case if if you just consider if you just consider whatever millimeter they're spouting, right? If they're spouting 10 millimeter, that equates to not six feet, but five foot five foot what? I want to say five foot six, but I don't think that's right. Because like on me, my eyes to the top of my head winds up being about four inches. So it would be five foot eight inches. So whatever the millimeter that they're quoting you, 10 millimeter, 20 millimeter, 15 millimeter, it's equating to five foot eight inches. Not the full six foot. Okay, I think I've said it over and over, so maybe that just helps you out. If you have any questions or uh, any concerns or anything like that, uh, drop them in my chat. I'll respond or reply or at least read them. So uh, thanks for coming out and watching this video, and I will catch you in my next one.